Hello and welcome back to yet another Pokemon Snap walkthrough video. Today we'll be looking at how to get all the 4 star photos at the Funja jungle. A quick side note before we start. Just know that all of these encounters are at research level 2 or higher unless otherwise noted. Before we get to the video, please remember to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Okay with all that out of the way, let's head into the jungle during the daytime. First on our list today is Apom, along with a surprise encounter from Vivalon in the daytime. As we start the course, we will speed forward until we approach the alternate path that heads through the swamp. As we get to the tall grass, you'll notice that there's a crystal bloom on the left side. Hit this with an Illumina Orb to reveal some footprints, then scan and follow the alternate path through the tall grass. Once on the other side of the tall grass, you'll notice a palm jumping over the swamp. As it stops in front of you, hit it with an Illumina Orb to trigger the cut attack sequence. Snap a photo of a palm cutting the long grass to your left to achieve the 4 star photo that you're looking for. As a bonus, you can snap a photo of the monsoon pattern Vivalon that leaves a small cave once the entrance is cleared by Apom. This is yet another 4 star photo of Vivalon. Now let's take a look at our photos. You can see here that any picture of Vivalon will get you a 4 star photo. Now then. And you can see here that the photo of Apom that I have got me 1000 points in the pose section as this was a mid attack photo. And the size and direction were just good enough to get me those diamond stars. Oh, and with Vivalon so centered, it too easily earned those diamond stars. Next up on the list is Balance Suite. Just know that you can get both the Balance Suite and the Area Dose photos in just one run if you have quick reaction times. But we'll just be focusing on Balance Suite in this one. As we begin our quest in the nighttime variant of the map, we will have to play the Melody Player to awaken the two Balance Suite to our left. Follow these Balance Suite down the path until they fly into the Area Dose's web and get stuck. Hit Area Dose with multiple fluff fruit until it wakes up. Once awake, focus on the Balance Suite to snap a photo of their looks of terror just before Ariados hits them with an acid spray. As we look through the photos, we'll want a picture of both Balance Suite reacting. We want them near the center of the photo and with decent size in order to achieve that Diamond Star status. As you can see, my photo here had all of those qualities and achieved a fantastic score of almost 5000 points. Metapod is up next, so we'll have to head back into the jungle during the day this time. There really isn't much to do at the beginning of the map to get the 4 star photo of Metapod, so let's just skip forward to the runes area. As we come over the edge to the area where Liopard is laying on the rock ledge, we can see that there's a group of 3 Metapod laying down into our right. Playing the melody player will trigger these Metapod to use Harden. Snap a photo as they perform this move, or just afterwards while they are still shimmering to get that 4 star photo. As you can see, all the photos I have are during the shimmering phase. The photo I chose has a great pose, size, and placement score so it easily earns us those diamond stars. Okay, so Beauty Fly is up next. Again, we will have to head into the jungle during the daytime. There's not a whole lot to do before we get to the Arbok blocking our path, so let's just skip forward until we're there. As we approach the swamp, you'll notice Beauty Fly is on the tree here. Perform a scan to scare it into leaving the perch on the tree. Next, we will have to hit the Sleeping Venusaur to our right with an Illumina Orb in order to catch Beauty Fly's attention and get it to drink from the flower on Venusaur's back. Snap a photo of Beauty Fly as it is sucking nectar from the flower to get the 4 star photo. The timing on this one is very tricky and it took me multiple attempts to get the diamond star status, so just stick with it, practice, and try to perform all these actions as early as possible so that you can get a nice sized Beauty Fly in your photograph. Doing so will give you some decent points and get you those diamond stars that you're actually looking for. Arbok's 4 star photo will also take advantage of that sleeping Venusaur. 
Also know that you can get another 4 star photo of Arbok falling out of the tree at research level 1. This is very difficult to actually get a diamond star status with, so I'm showing you this one instead. As we start down the path, we will notice that Arbok is blocking our way. Hit with some fluff fruit to save a whooper and send it slithering further down the path. Then use some fluff fruit to lure Arbok over to the Venusaur. Once Arbok is actually near the Venusaur, perform a scan to wake up the sleeping flower dino. Catch a photo of Arbok screeching at Venusaur, focusing on getting as many additional Pokemon in the picture as possible. Choose a picture that has as many Pokemon as you could possibly get, and also one that has Arbok facing you as much as possible in order to achieve that Diamond Star status. This again took me numerous attempts to get the Diamond Stars on, so just keep trying, and if that's your end goal, you'll eventually get it. Next up on the list is Yon Mega. This one will require us to head back into the night variant of the map. As we start the map, we'll just skip forward to the split in the path. We'll need to take a picture of Yon Mega mid-fight with these area dose that you can see here. As you approach, play the melody player to attract a Yon Mega from your right side. After it flies in, scan to your left and follow the alternate path through the swamp. As you pass through the tall grass, play the melody player again to trigger Yon Mega's fight with Ariados. Hit Yon Mega with an Illumina Orb to help it scare away the Ariados. After this, you can skip forward to the waterfall section of the map. Hit the Crystal Bloom on the Rock Island with an Illumina Orb. Watch as Yon Mega circles back to pick up some friends before doing a flyby in front of the waterfall. Snap a photo of the glowing leader and his followers to get that 4 star photo that you're looking for. Remember that earning more than 4000 points will get you those diamond stars. Again make sure to capture as many of Yon Mega in the picture as you can, because every additional Pokemon will give you some extra points making it that much easier to get those diamond stars. We are now all the way up to number 47 in our photo decks, Picky Pack. We are on the daytime variant yet again, and we'll skip forward yet again to the swamp area. As you round the swamp, you'll notice a tree with a hole in it. Throw a fluff fruit into this hole. Keep your eye on the hole as Picky Pack will soon poke his head out and fly off with that fluff fruit. Snap a photo of Picky Peck mid-flight carrying the fluff fruit to get a 4 star photo. I was honestly not too impressed whatsoever with the photos that I got this run, but I still somehow got that diamond status on this photo here. I mean I guess I'll take it, but I still like the old photo better. Okay so since we're in the bird watching spirit, might as well just continue and get ourselves the 4 star photo of Toucanon. We will have to head back to the nighttime variant of the map to get this photo. Let's skip forward to the ruins area of the map yet again. As you start to fall over the edge of the log, look to your left to find the two cannon with a crystal bloom beside it. Hit this crystal bloom with an Illumina orb. Wait for that orb to completely wear off, then hit it yet again with a second Illumina orb to make the two cannon take flight. Take a photo of Toucanon anywhere in flight to earn yourself the 4 star photo that you're looking for. You'll have plenty of opportunities to get yourself a great photo like the one you see here. Getting a picture with Toucanon as centered as possible, or at least with some Pokemon in the background, will give you the extra points necessary to get you that Diamond Star status. This next one should look pretty familiar as we've already seen this entire process in action for the Bounce Suite 4 star photo. Follow the same steps as Bounce Suite. Play the melody player to awaken the two Bounce Suite to your left. 
play the melody player yet again near the nest to cause the bounce suite to get stuck in the web. Wake area dose up by hitting it multiple times with fluff fruit. As it awakens, stay focused on it and snap a photo as it sprays acid on the unsuspecting bounce suite. A photo like the one you can see here will easily earn you those diamond stars. Next up on the list, we have more lull. Again, we have to complete this at the night variant of the map, but this method will actually only be available on research level one. Again, we can skip forward to the runes area of the map. And once we're there, we'll look for the same crystal bloom to our left that we used for the two cannon photo and hit it with an Illumina orb. Once the crystal bloom is illuminated, look forward to find four more lull sitting on the branch ahead of you. Hit these with an Illumina Orb so that they all glow. Once this is complete, they will release a Sleep Powder into the air as Mew flies above. Snap a photo as they release the powder to get a 4 star photo. Oh, and as a bonus, snapping a photo of the Sleeping Mew will also nab you a 4 star photo at this point. While looking through your photos, make sure to choose one with all the Morlul performing the Sleep Powder, and preferably with Mew easily visible as well. This will get you the most points and make it the easiest possible to get those diamond stars you're looking for. We continue on with slacking. We will return to research level 2 at the nighttime variant of the map this time. As we begin, we might as well just skip forward to the alternate route through the swamp. As we approach, scan this area and follow it. On the other side of the tall grass, you will see slacking walking down the path in front of you. Continuously scan until slacking goes to the tree ahead and to the left, reaches inside, and grabs out a little something to eat. Snap a photo of it enjoying this little snack to earn yourself that 4 star photo. As you look through your photos, you'll notice that there are many different poses that slacking can have in these photos. Make sure you choose one that has slacking fully visible and looking towards you in order to maximize the points and earn yourself those diamond stars. The Venusaur picture will follow similar steps to the Arbok photo, but it's a little bit more complex afterwards. So let's fly through the beginning part of this because it's all stuff you've seen before. So just remember, save the Wooper by hitting Arbok with the Fluff Fruit. Lure Arbok to Venusaur using the Fluff Root. And once Arbok is close to Venusaur, perform a scan to wake Venusaur up and cause Arbok to screech and scare it away. And now on to the new steps. So let's skip to the waterfall yet again. Hit the Crystal Bloom next to the two Sobble with an Illumina Orb. Once illuminated, play the Melody Player. The music will trigger Sobble to use Water Gun on the Sleeping Venusaur. Once Venusaur is awake, hit the Crystal Bloom again and play the Melody Player to trigger both Sobble to hit Venusaur yet again with Water Gun. Snap a photo as Venusaur launches itself into the water to get you that 4 star photo. My picture here is what I would consider perfect timing and placement, and that score of nearly 5000 reflects that as well, earning us the Diamond Star status. My part is up next, and a much easier photo to take overall. This photo also requires us to be at the nighttime variant of the map at research level 1. The first thing we will need to do is knock Arbok out of the tree with fluff fruit. Doing so and taking a picture of it mid-fall will also give you a 4 star photo, but this is not the easiest one to get that diamond star status with. As we pass under the log, look to your right to find the Lipard hiding in the long grass. Hit Lipard with an Illumina Orb and it will run off. As you continue on, look to the tree to your left and play the Melody Player to awaken another Lipard, which will jump from the tree and head down the trail until it lies down. As you begin to pass it, more Lipard will appear from the tall grass behind it. 
at which point you will need to hit the light part that was lying down with an Illumina Orb. All these light parts will stand on their hind legs, at which point you will need to snap a photo with as many of them in the picture as you can get. Having all this extra light part in the picture will make earning those diamond stars that much easier. We have saved it multiple times in the past, but now it's actually time to snap a photo of our little friend Wooper. We will have to head back to the daytime variant of the map to get this photo. This one was really difficult for me to get a solo photo on, so just keep that in mind as you're giving this a try. As you pass over this tree branch, play the melody player to wake up the slacking to your left. Look up to see a bounce sweet fly over the cliff ledge. As you continue on, save Wooper from the evil Arbok by hitting it again with some fluff fruit. As you pass Wooper, turn around to see it interact with the Bounce Suite. Snap a photo of both Wooper and Bounce Suite running down the path to get the 4 star photo that we're looking for. And yes, both of the Pokemon must be fully visible to get those 4 stars. Having these two Pokemon nice and close when taking the photo will give you 4,000 or more points and earn you those diamond stars. Following Wooper we have Quagsire, and just so you know you can get a 4 star photo on both research levels 1 and 2, so I'm going to show you both here. As we start research level 1, there isn't a whole lot to see at the beginning of the map, so let's just skip forward to the waterfall area. As we get to this waterfall area, you will see two Quagsires sitting on these rocks over here. Keep your eye on the second Quagsire that is farther away, and watch as it jumps into the waterfall area. Snap a photo of it mid-jump to get that 4 star photo that we're looking for. It is pretty easy to accidentally focus on that closer Quagsire, so just keep that in mind as you're taking this photo. But moving on, let's look at research level 2. Again, there really isn't much to do at the beginning of this map, so let's again skip forward to that waterfall area. As we get to this area, we should focus on going pretty slow here. If you go too fast, it is easy to miss this picture, or end up being behind Quagsire when you snap this photo. So just keep that in mind. I like to go slow, zoom in on my camera just to slow down the Neo 1 even more. And as you come around, just focus on this Quagsire here that's walking with Wooper at the end of the map. Wooper will eventually attempt Quagsire into jumping into the pond with it. We need to snap a photo of Quagsire mid-jump to get that 4 star photo. And here you can see Wooper leading the way. Now we're just going to focus here on Quagsire. And there you go. Just like that you have the 4 star photo of Quagsire on both research levels 1 and 2. My pictures here for the level 2 are not the greatest. And you can see here that my old picture was a picture from Quagsire from behind, but the waterfall behind it gave me an extra background bonus, which got me the 4,000 points I was looking for. Next up is Swampert, and technically Leafeon, but we'll focus on Leafeon a little bit later on. Speed forward until you get to that split in the path. Scan and follow this alternate route through the swamp, but be sure to also hit Leafeon in the behind with a fluff fruit to encourage it through the tall grass as well. As you pass through the tall grass, play the melody player to trigger the area dose to drop down and scare Leafeon into the swamp. Turn towards the swamp to see Swampert appear, hit it with an Illumina Orb, and snap a photo as Swampert splashes Leafeon to get that 4 star photo that we're looking for. As a bonus, snap a photo of Leafeon here as well to get a 4 star photo of it. Getting Leafeon in the picture will give you a little bonus that will make getting those diamond stars that much easier. And like I said, getting a photo of Leafeon being splashed will also get you a highly rated 4 star photo. That one was a pretty easy one, let's take a look at something that was a little bit more difficult to get. Ledeon is up next, and is another interaction that can be annoying to try and get that diamond status for. 
we will again have to head back into the night variant of the map, but let's get forward to the ruins area yet again. If you look down, you'll see a crystal bloom on the floor of the ruins. Hit this with an Illumina Orb to attract some light in. Toss Fluff Fruit onto the jungle floor to attract a light in. And then snap a photo of it eating the Fluff Fruit to earn yourself a 4 star photo. Again, timing and placement are key on this one, so keep trying as this one took me numerous attempts to finally get a quality photo that got me those 4000 points I need. Be sure that you can see most if not all of Ledian when you are selecting your photo in order to maximize your score and earn yourself those diamond stars. There's only 3 Pokemon that remain on the Fuja jungle map, and Sobble is next on our list. Actually this video is getting a little bit long, let's just make it a 2 for 1 on this one and add Leafeon as well. We will start on the daytime variant of the map, we will skip forward to the point where we are crossing the ruins. As you start to cross the log, look to your right to find Lipard stretching on the rock. Hit it with an Illumina Orb to scare it off. As you approach this rock, scan and follow the alternate route behind the waterfall. Up ahead you will see Sobble. Keep your eye on it until Leafeon appears. Once Leafeon is in the picture, hit Sobble with the Fluff Fruit to make it cry. Snap a photo of Sobble mid cry, and also a picture of Leafeon reacting to the crying mist to earn yourself a 4 star photo of both of them. Sobble may be difficult to get a good photo of since it's easily obstructed by the mist, but eventually you may get a photo like this and earn yourself those diamond stars. Leafeon tends to be a little bit easier to get a good score on, but honestly the photo of Leafeon playing with Swampert that I showed you earlier would net you a better score overall. Alright and last but not least is number 60 on our list, Mew. We did get a picture of Mew earlier in the run during that more lull interaction, but let's get an even better photo of Mew like the one seen here. As you begin, turn around until you see the two more lull directly behind you. Play the melody player and a pink orb will appear. Hit this with a fluff fruit to reveal Mew. It will disappear quickly, but as you pass over the branch later on down the path, the pink orb will reappear. Again, you must hit this orb with a fluff fruit. This can be quite difficult and it took me multiple attempts, but keep trying and eventually you'll get this. You do have to do this three times total throughout the map. And the third time is right here as we round the swamp. The pink orb will appear yet again and will circle around the swamp multiple times. Hit it with the fluff fruit one last time to reveal Mew. Once it disappears, speed towards the runes. As you cross the runes, make sure to play the melody player and Mew will appear to your left near the runes entrance. Shortly after it will disappear, but as you turn the corner the little bugger will show up out of nowhere and show you that it does not know the meaning of personal space whatsoever. Snap a photo of Mew when it's all up in your business to earn yourself the final 4 star photo for this area. Again we already had a picture of Mew being stunned by the Morlal, but this interaction is much easier to get those diamond stars on. And you know what, I think it's a better picture overall, just because I like that close up interaction. And again, as we're looking through the photos, make sure you choose one that has Mew nice and centered and not being obstructed by anything. And doing so should net you at least 5,000 points. This is the easy one to get 5,000 points on. And with that, we've taken a 4 star photo of every Pokemon in the Funja jungle in the new Pokemon Snap. If this video helped you at all, please let me know in the comments below. Also, please remember to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this in the near future. Also, come watch me on Twitch as I take on some different Pokemon challenges. I'm currently streaming on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8pm central time here in the US and I've already completed a heart gold randomized nuzlocke which can be found in the link in the description below. I'm also currently editing my Pokemon Sword Extreme Surprise Lock footage which should be up on the channel in the next couple weeks. That again was a very brutal run overall but it was a lot of fun. Be sure to check back soon for more Pokemon Snap walkthroughs but until next time, have a good night and I'll catch you in the next one.